Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Monsters video. So in today's video, I wanted to help you guys out with farming gems. This is going to be a very um, updated version of basically gem farming in Monster Gems. So this is going to be a, like a 2021 version. Um, but anyways, if this video does help you guys out, make sure to drop a like and also subscribe. We're getting closer and closer to 80,000 subscribers. So it'll be appreciated if you guys could drop me a sub and help out the channel. But anyways, so currently as you guys can see, I have... 2468 gems now i need you to subtract that by a thousand because um a thousand gems were given to me by social point to review exclusive monsters so they're not really my gems to be honest uh so technically i have about 1400 gems you know what i mean so i got about 1400 and um normally i get about 300 to 400 gems maybe every 30 minutes less than 30 minutes i'd say for free Okay, I'll show you guys how. Um, so this is actually used by a lot of players, but in case you didn't know, Monsterwood tasks, they are legit. They actually do give you your gems. They're not scams, none of that. So if you actually end up unlocking Monsterwood, um, I recommend farming up your gems. So normally the best time to do it is when um, you see the middle part where it says complete a task and get, you know, and then there's lots of gems and stuff. So normally when that's yellow, when it's shining like how it is on the surveys and the other side, um, I need you to go ahead and take advantage of it. So even when it's not, you can still do it, but it's just that you won't be getting as many gems as you do it uh, during like the happy hour, as you get when there's a happy hour, you know what I mean? So uh, if we view the task right now, as you guys could see, this pops up. So complete your in progress offers and earn. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. but. Even though there isn't a happy hour right now going on, the top top right now, the, the one that gives you the most, is 3,292 gems. Um, for just basically, if you click on it, it'll tell you what you need to do. So first step is to get, uh, get this game, which is Raid Shadow Legends. You need to get it, download it, it's free. And then you need to complete the tutorial on that game. So you have to launch it, complete the tutorial, and then you need to open two void charts in the first 10 days and receive your reward so this is for new users only um and so basically all you need to do is get the game install it complete the tutorial and then you need to open up um two void charts i'm not sure what that is but maybe you can look up some videos on how to do that um you just have to do it in the first 10 days after 10 days it won't be um valid so once you do within the first 10 days then you get about 3292 gems and um you get 3900 gems that's a lot of gems think about it that is actually a lot but the ones that i do aren't really those ones the ones that i do are let me show you let me show you the ones that i actually do if i could find one right now uh let's see nope i i don't really do the casino slots and stuff i really don't like it um make it purchase not really okay so there are some tasks where you for example download the app and then all you have to do is uh, basically um like a start a trail like a free trial okay you need to start a free trial maybe you'll have to enter some credit card information and stuff um but basically what i do is i enter a credit card information and then uh right after i do it the free trial is free by the way right from the name of it free trial i go ahead and do it it's free and then i head over to the app store and cancel my trial right after I get my gems from Monster Legends, which is in like less than five minutes, and I get about 300 to 400 gems. Uh, some of them are where you have to uh, start the trial, and you have to maybe spend like a dollar or two, and that'll get you give you like 700 to 900 gems, which is a lot if you think about it. Now, here's the thing: for those of you that don't have a credit card, um, I'm pretty sure many of you guys are watching this probably don't have credit cards. So what I recommend you doing is um, going online. I actually used to do this before and I used to farm gems with it. It is not illegal. I'm pretty sure it's not. But you basically look up like a um, fake credit card info. Um, basically, it's kind of like temporary. You, you know, type it in. It's pretty valid. It's only for like free trials and stuff. You can um, use it for free trials and stuff. So you can do that, get your gems. And then after that, you can, you know, stop your free trial from the app store and you get your gems. And... Anyway, some of them are, for example, this one right here, 988 gems. It says, nature needs you. Donate here. Basically, it takes you to a site. So I'm going to say earn 988 gems. 
and it's going to take me to this website right here and um, basically what you need to do is donate money um, so some of them do require some amount of money uh, so if you can for example this one's 19 dollars a month but right after you pay your 19 dollars you can um go ahead and cancel them make sure to read it though some of them don't really um uh, let you cancel it so let me see in here donation submitted through donation okay um yeah so 20 dollars. think about it 20 dollars for basically 900 gems that is worth it now if we head over to back back to monster legends right it was 900 something gems right let me see. So if I go over here, head over to status. Take a look at this. Uh, where was it? The one that we just said, nature needs you. Do you need here? That's 988 gems. Now, if we head over to Monster Legends and actually do the math here. Let me see. Okay. So normally for $19 or basically $20, you get only 300 gems. So that's one um, in a third of those gems that you get. So I'd say it's worth it. $20 for 900 gems. It's worth it. Uh, so you just may have to make a donation. After you do that, you can go ahead and cancel. So it doesn't take you any, or it doesn't take any more money from your credit card or whatever. So you only have to basically spend twenty dollars for nine hundred gems, which is actually quite a lot. Um, you can do it that way. You can also do the ones where you just have to start a free trial, get the gems, and that's it. Um, also, you don't really have to do those ones. You can also do the ones that doesn't really require any credit card, doesn't require any money at all. All you need to do is basically, uh, for example, this one right here, you download the game, you open two void shards in the first 10 days, and then you receive your reward, which, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it won't cost you money unless you're gonna go pay to win on that game and then end up getting your gems um, a lot quicker. So that's uh, one of them. But some of the other tasks, they're super easy. They give you like 90 to 100 gems by just simply um, downloading their app and launching it. That's all you need to do. Some of them tell you to download their game, launch the app, and maybe even do the tutorial. And that's it. Literally, like less than five minutes and you get like up to uh, 50 to 100 gems, which is quite a lot of gems if you think about it. Um, but anyways, so Monsterwood does give you a lot. Also, let me tell you this. If you don't want to do the tasks, that's fine. There are surveys. If you head over to surveys, I'm pretty sure it's not going to work for me. Yes. So that's because I'm currently behind an anonymous proxy. Uh, meaning that right now on my phone, I'm using an ad blocker. So I need to turn that off. Uh, the reason why I have an ad blocker is because I watch anime and stuff. And normally the um, ads really annoy me on my phone. So I have that installed and basically it blocks all the um, ads and stuff, which is quite uh, useful. But let's say... Um, if this page actually loaded up and this wasn't a thing um you have to complete some of the surveys and they give you quite a lot of gems so you need to complete the surveys you get the gems and it is actually quite helpful i've actually made like one or two videos already on basically getting the gems through surveys um so if you want to check those out i made it a quite a while ago you can check those out and uh farm up some gems so you can use the gems for whatever you want. For example, team races. If some of the teams require like 500 gems, 600 gems uh, to maybe go for like 20, 40 laps or something. For example, our team, we need 500 gems from each single player. That's required, 500 gems, because we go for like 40 laps. So 500 gems per player. Um, also, all you need is 400, but that extra 100 is just to be safe. Um, we could get into details and stuff, but... I don't want to do that but anyways so sometimes also there is like happy hours where you watch um one video for one gem uh in the regular monster wood like right all the way on the left as you guys could see right now it's giving you cells for this monster but sometimes it's like every ad you watch you get one gem and um sometimes it's even up to like 200 ads so you get 200 gems if you watch every single one of those ads so that's actually quite a lot of gems um although you do have to spend a lot of time basically uh, watching those ads and stuff but um, another best way to farm gems aside from monster wood let's say if you don't have it unlocked or let's say you don't want to do monster wood or you have already done monster wood and you want to take a break from it and do something else uh, then I recommend doing the dungeons right now there is a hard gems dungeon um, or legendary gem dungeon that's what it's called now before you uh, it was used to called like hard gems dungeon but they changed it so you can get 41 gems from this by basically just battling these monsters in here 
So if you could finish it up to the end, you can go ahead and get your gems. These are quite strong now. They're quite powerful. It's a lot stronger and more difficult, uh, unfortunately. But before it was a lot easier. And uh, now if you have to use like legendary monsters and stuff before you could use anything you want. Uh, unfortunately, they changed that. It really sucks, to be honest. I'm going to do Ruby so and see how that goes. So I'm going to do, for example, uh, Splitting Harpoon. I mean, I haven't used these monsters in ages because I use Mythic Snows and stuff. So like, I don't really use them as much. But anyways, laying odds and then finally eliminate it uh, and then victory. So basically, you complete this, you get your gems from this. Um, they don't always appear in here, so uh, there is like a schedule to it. If you'd like to join my Discord, I'm sure there is a schedule, or you can DM me on Discord, or maybe DM one of the moderators in the Mall Legends official Discord for it. Uh, you can, but there is a schedule actually. I'm not sure if it's in here. Nope, it's not in here. Uh, but yeah, let me see if uh, there is, because I'm pretty sure there used to be a schedule, like a couple of pictures in here, but I guess not. Uh, I think it's in the in-game settings. Yeah, it should be in the in-game settings. But anyways, so farming gems, monster wood, um, also the dungeons is really, really, really helpful. Um, another best way, in my opinion, is from time challenges. For example, there's rune lords going on right now. This one does not give you much gems, but um, some of them, like when you, when there's like gold uh, challenge where you collect specific amount of gold you get about 15 to 20 gems which is quite a lot uh it comes around every once a week or so uh but when you actually get in the rankings for example from 501 to 5000 gets you 20 25 gems right there you also get 50 gems in here from 51 to 500 and then 4 to 50 is basically 100 gems 200 gems, 300 and 400 um so it's a quite a bit difficult to get to the top three or so but it's not that difficult to get yourself the 25 gems of, you know, just being in the 501 to 5,000 5, basically. Uh, so this one's the Rune Lords, but there are many other challenges like Growth Perth. Uh, also like the breeding one, right? Where you have to breed monsters. There are so many more. So you can farm gems from there as well. And aside from that, another best way I could think of right now would be through Adventure Map. If you haven't completed your Adventure Map, I recommend doing it. Although it does level you up, so it's really up to you. If you're okay with leveling up, if you're cool with that, then go ahead and finish it off. But if you're not, then just don't do it, I guess. Uh, but anyways, let me actually see here real quick. I'm gonna get rid of you. I'm gonna use Shark Droid. I'm gonna use you. And I'm gonna use you. So three attackers. And I'm gonna quickly finish this off here. So basically get about two, maybe three stars. And when you get more stars, like this right here, uh, you end up getting another spin. And this spin actually gives you some gems here. It really depends if you're lucky, you'll get gems. If you're not, then you won't really get the gems. Like this one right here, I couldn't get the gems, unfortunately. Uh, but anyways, so once again, the best way would be through Monster Wood. Just doing the surveys or just completing the tasks. Completing the tasks are literally the best ways. I recommend waiting for the happy hour once again. Happy hours, uh, they basically kind of like double up the amount of gems that you receive. So that'll be like literally the best way. Uh, it comes around quite uh, quite often. So make sure you keep an eye on the game and complete those. But anyways, I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, go ahead and drop a like and also subscribe. Put notifications on. But that's going to be pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.